Well, hello, East Cobb United Methodist Church community. I'm Reverend Kristen Hyden, and I am delighted to be with you for another week of our video devotionals. If you are anything like me during this time, you have lost all sense of what day or date it is. And so let me remind you that today is Monday, May 25th. Now, it may seem like any other day, but it is, in fact, Memorial Day. Now, typically on any other year, we may have been celebrating this by being out at the lake or traveling to the beach to kick off summer. We may have gathered for backyard barbecues or headed out to a local parade. But like most things during this season, this Memorial Day is different. Now, I know it's not a religious holiday, but I didn't want the day to pass without us as a community of faith pausing just for a moment to reflect on this day. It was originally known as Decoration Day, following the Civil War when folks would go to place flags on the graves of their loved ones who had been killed in the war. It became a national holiday in 1971, and we take this day off from work to pause and to remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for their country. I know for me on this day, I reflect on the loss of Captain Daniel Witten, the husband of one of my sorority sisters who was killed in Afghanistan in 2010. And I'm sure many of you will take the time to pause and remember those that you loved who were lost in war. As a church, it is our hope and our prayer that the kingdom of heaven will come on earth, and with that comes the end of war, that we shall know true peace, a peace that comes from Christ's reign, that our swords will be turned into plowshares, and we will not no war anymore. But until that day comes, we pray for it. We do what we can to live into that reality and give thanks to those who have gone before us. I want us today to share in a bit of a litany it comes from the Book of Worship for United States Forces. As I read each line, you are invited to respond. We give you thanks, O oh God. Whether you're alone or with friends and family, whether it's first thing in the morning or you're catching this on a break from work or right before you go to bed, I invite you to Speak those words along with me. We give you thanks, O oh God. Let us give thanks to God for the land of our birth with all its chartered liberties, for all the wonder of our country's story. We give you thanks, O oh God. For leaders in nation and state, and for those who in days past and in these present times have labored for the commonwealth. We give you thanks, O oh God. For those who in all times and places have been true and brave and in the world's common ways have lived upright lives and ministered to their fellows. We give you thanks, O oh God. For those who served their country in its hour of need and especially those who gave even their lives in that service. We give you thanks, O oh God. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God and most merciful Father, as we remember these your servants, remembering with gratitude their courage and strength, we hold before you those who mourn them. Look upon your bereaved servants with your mercy. 
and as this day brings them memories of those they have lost a while, may it also bring your consolation and the assurance that their loved ones are alive now and forever in your living presence. All this we pray in Christ's name. Amen. I hope that you will have a wonderful Memorial Day today and that you will pause and give thanks to God for the lives that have been lost in service to our country and that you will pray for the peace of God to reign in our hearts and to reign across the ends of the earth that we might know the kingdom of heaven here among us, where we know war no more. Have a great day.